I got a question for y'all, and it's something I probably should have asked a while ago in a previous episode. Do y'all like listening to music? <laughs> Hate it. Just like, just when you sit and just listen to it, it doing nothing else, like purely listening to music, y'all like doing that? I do. I don't feel like I do it enough in this world we live in today. <laughs> yeah. Um, but um, yeah. when I do, I'm happy I did it. Yeah. But uh, I don't know. I wish I had more time to do it. Yeah. It's probably my favorite way to listen to music. Yeah. I, yeah. I had, <clears throat> before we started doing this show, I don't think I'd, I might not have ever just sat really? down to listen to music. I feel like I've always had it as a supplement to something else I'm doing. Right? Yeah. Whether it's yeah. cleaning yeah. or writing something or just going for a jog or <clears throat> right. anything. Just something to yeah. a make company. a more mundane activity interesting. And I really like doing it, but mm -hmm. it, it is, it, it does, Yeah. I, I, I don't know. It's just, I, I've never, uh, that's so weird to me because I, I've heard like, uh, just like the list sitting down and like just listening to an album or a song. I feel like that was a more, a more popular activity in a, in yesteryear. Yeah. Yep. Like, uh, <laughs> yeah, like my, two stories from like my mom getting an album in the mail. She like right. puts it on it and listens to it. Right. That's all she does for yeah. like an entire afternoon. Sure. Why do you think that is? Uh, less less distractions for sure. Less. I think that uh, we are we're lucky that we've had more variety of things we can do. Mm -hmm. uh, more uh, everything's so much more accessible. Yes, that too. Yeah. Uh, more ways to entertain ourselves. Uh, music. The the notion of like hearing that an album is being released used to be this massive right. event because unless you hear a song on the radio you won't there's no other way to get it unless you go see them live so right. that that whole the, you still hear like those joke tweets about like uh you know like the new new single dropping soon yeah. and stuff like that <laughs> but honestly like it, it's even if you don't hear it right away like it's all out there like, as you said, everything is just a... Right, it's you at your fingertips. You clickety-clacks away, and mm -hmm. you've got pretty much whatever you want. It's like stuff gets leaked now. Yes, oh and... yes. <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely. And, Information uh, this is moves a, quickly. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, uh, this, is, uh, this is this is was really on my mind going through uh, today's album, uh, Heligoland by Massive Attack. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the the pronunciation I'm still trying to get a hang up. I think it's like Heligoland. 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 We will we'll try no. not to. Heligoland. We'll try not to butcher the the owl name too much. I, I like Heligoland. Yeah, I, I do too. Just for yeah. It's um electronic music, which which I'm 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 a fan of. I. It's very very difficult to just sit and listen to it. I feel like with with this particular genre, I'm always doing something else. I'm yeah. always cleaning mm. or driving or I, I I know I have definitely before this and uh, Stereo Lab. Does that count as electronic music? I wouldn't say, but th there's kind of some similarities. Like right, I but there's. Yeah, there's guitar and, you know, regular drums on uh, Stereo Lab stuff. And, and on this, too, I mean, it's not all electronic, but there is a lot. Yeah. Right. Okay. I'd say this band is more so an electronic band than Stereo Lab is. Okay. Stereo At Lab. least of what we listen to of Stereo Lab. Yeah. Because with this, too, you know, this is from, what, 2010? Yep. You know, Massive Attack, I'd say, was biggest in the 90s. So yeah. So there's been a big shift in sound. Mm -hmm. Like this... There's some industrial roots, I would say, to this. Mm. And I feel like people that are fans of industrial typically bring this band up. Yeah. Not necessarily electronic. Is but, I mean, I guess that is kind of a subgenre of electronic music. They call this trip-hop a lot. Trip-hop? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. And um, another band that's considered trip-hop is Portishead. Yeah. You've heard them? Yep. Um, I always see those, too. And together. like apparently, I, I was reading this band's wiki, and like they kind of uh, resented the term trip hop. Like yeah. they hated it being like put <laughs> in a box because the, right. they're a unique band. Like oh yeah, I really can't like pin down their sound or compare them to anybody. Right. Um, but as far as like you know, sitting and doing nothing but listening to it, um, 
Um, these are pretty long songs. Like it takes kind of a, a patient, uh, you've got to be patient with them. Like they're pretty long songs. There's a lot of repetition. Mm -hmm. um, layers. Yeah, lay, yeah, it kind of unfolds. But I find that it's like probably best if you just listen to it. Like, I feel like if I put it on the background, I might kind of miss mm -hmm. what's going on. Like, yeah, 100%. I did put this album on in the car and I was like, eh, whatever. And right. finally putting on headphones, I'm like, okay, that's kind of what this was made for. It's like, it's like a whole nether element. Yeah, to it, doing it that yeah. Way. it's like the big part of, uh, you know, what's good about this album is just how it sounds. Yeah. Yeah. Um, 100%. Um, Y'all yeah. get straight into it. Sure. Pray for rain. Sure. The opener. I loved the, uh, the 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 drip effects to yeah. give it that sound like water was falling. I mean, we've been getting pounded by rain. Here yeah, I, I listened to this album <laughs> while uh, it was raining. Oh yeah, Me too. it was nice. full yeah. downpour. So yeah. this was uh, timing could not have been more perfect. Yeah, you know, to yeah. Uh, listen to this song in particular, right. and you know may, maybe on a in a different context, it wouldn't have been as uh, fitting of sure. an intro. But, uh, you know, I, I've listened to this song when the sun was out, and I, I still thought it was a yeah. solid opener. Yeah. So yeah. I'm, I'm, this is a good way to start an album off. Right. It's yeah, yeah. I know opinion. we use this word a lot, but very dissonant sound mm. in the beginning, which I, I really liked. It, you know, right. heavy synth intro, very dissonant. It had kind of a tribal feel to it, yes. too. Yes. And I feel like that's yeah. pretty strong throughout the album. That tom roll at yeah. the beginning is very cool. Yep. Um, and I feel like, yeah, the the drum sound maybe is where some of the tribal mm -hmm. feel comes from. For sure. Like, those are definitely not electronic drums. Yeah. Right. There's like a good, a good mix of acoustic instruments. I... 100% and... agree. It was like a good balance of electronic elements with actual... Yeah. Instruments. And and the songs that I didn't care for so much, I feel like relied too much on electronic drums, mm -hmm. like towards the end. Um, so I I think what I liked about this, um, like it, as somebody who's not like a huge fan of electronic music, mm -hmm. I like the blend. Yeah, like they're kind of like Radiohead, and that they can do like a nice like blend. That's kind of the only band I would think to like compare them to. Or wow, well. And it's not even that close of a comparison, but it's just like, hey, maybe if you like this band, you like Radiohead. There's so many different, like, elements to it, I guess. Mm -hmm. Kind of like Radiohead. You know, it's when we were talking about, like, what genre is Radiohead. Yeah. It's, I feel like this pulls from so many places. Yeah. Like, I, I would have never guessed Trip Hop. I yeah, would have never yeah. used that term. Yeah, yeah. That's... I was just looking, too, and I saw, like, down tempo and, like, dark ambient. I could see... The dark ambient. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. I just, I, it's not like a generic genre. Right. It's so specific. And the dark ambient. And just <laughs> again, like the, these guys kind of like rolling their eyes at the trip hop right. label. Like I feel like a lot of artists are kind of like, you know, why did this genre get slapped onto us? Yeah. And like, yeah. there are just too many genres to keep up with. Right. Man. There really are. Yeah. Like, it gets so specific. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know. Yeah, because like I said, I, I would consider this, a, maybe this is not accurate, but it feels industrial. And industrial, like, I I think I know what you're saying. Like, it sounds uh, almost like machinery or something yes. sometimes. Yeah. Like, kind of abrasive sounds. Yeah. And um, I, I mean, my tie into this band is through Nine Inch Nails, which is industrial. Mm. You know, so there's... Are they fans of this band? That I don't know. I mm -hmm. think so. I, I would I imagine so. I see Mezzanine always brought up mm -hmm. in Nine Inch Nails. And forums. that's kind of their 90s. Yeah, 98, I think. Okay. Something like that. So around that time <clears throat> period. But I, there's some tracks on here that sound really industrial. Yeah. This one, not so much. But Yeah, the person that um, requested this album um, was torn between Mezzanine and this. Mm -hmm. And this person is... My girlfriend that I, that I met on RuneScape. This person. <laughs> My RuneScape GF. Nice. We've had people request more than one album, so if she'd like us to go through Mezzanine, uh, it's one comment or it, yeah. remark to you it, away. It'd be cool to contrast these two. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Because this is 
over a decade past that. Yeah. You know, just to kind of hear the evolution of sound from and, them. And apparently this band had not done an album in a long time before right. this came out. Right. There are a lot of guests on this album. Did y'all read anything about I that? I didn't read anything on the album. To be I honest. did. I, I didn't see what guests there were. So, um, <laughs> nobody like huge, um, but I think there was somebody from, I want to say from the Gorillas. Um, Ooh. Maybe I did read that. And there was a guy from TV on the radio. Okay. Um, the singer from Mazzy Star. Okay. She yeah. sings on yeah. Paradise uh, Circus. Does, is she the only female vocalist on this album? I don't think so. I think Martina Bird okay. is the uh, primary female vocalist. I think she's in the band. Not to derail, but I feel like the tracks I liked featured female vocals. Dude, the ones I, I didn't like Guinness. were all male vocals. I was going to bring that up yeah. when we got to Babel. I need more Martina Bird Dude, on this Babel, album. Dude, Babel, I mean, I, I don't want to skip Pray for Rain because the the crazy change around 420. I, I know. <laughs> on Babel? Yeah, no, on uh, Pray for Rain. Okay. Like the song totally mm, shifted. Yeah, gears. yeah. Much more upbeat, kind of back into that weird distant yeah. sound. But what'd you think of that as an opener? Pray for Rain? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was really good. Yeah. Yeah, I was I was hooked. It's a good mood setting yeah. song. Set the tone. It wasn't like by any stretch my favorite song right. on the yeah. album. No, 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 no. Yeah. Well, so Babel, first thing I put on that was industrial sounding kit, mm -hmm. like right into that. But this mm -hmm. is my favorite song on the album. Yeah, it, it's got. I, be I went and re-listened to this song probably ten times. It was, uh, yeah, very like, kind of like Aphex Twin or something yeah, I like see that. that kind of IDM, I guess. Yeah, um, yeah, hundred percent. Um, A lot of interesting sounds. Yes. A lot. Those real Love fast too. kind of drum things. Yeah. So when I texted you the other night and I was like, question about Babel, and then I was like, never mind. Oh, I'll talk about... yeah. Dude, is that a Rhodes? It sounds like it. I I was like, man. Yes. It sounded like the Rhodes with the face shifter. Like straight yeah. up. Yeah. No quarter. Yes. I was thinking of No Quarter, too. The, yeah. Ze the Zeppelin song that has those very kind of watery yep. light yep. keys. Yep. It might be a Fender Rhodes or like something that sounds it, like it. And I heard it come up a couple times in the yes, album too, yes. which I was like, okay, I like that. Yeah. That's cool. It, all the sounds in this album seem like really, like tone-wise, like rolled back. You know what I mean? Uh, like almost underwater. Yeah. Yes. Like everything. Water is a theme. Like all smooth yeah. around the edges. Nothing like real sharp or abrasive. Yeah. And I like that. Me yeah, too. I did too. I thought it was a good effect. Um. So yeah, the, the record fecal... Fecal. Fecal. Yeah. Ooh, the fecal. Uh oh. Uh, vocals of Horace, Horace Andy. I don't know who that is. Um, the fecal master. Tunde Ad Adepimpe of TV on the radio. Damon Albarn of Blur and Gorillas. Okay. So. Yeah. Hope Sandoval of Hope Sandoval and the Warm Inventions and Mazzy Star. Okay. That's you know Mazzy Star yes. probably from the oh, yeah. radio yeah. fame. <laughs> Uh, and then a few other people that, oh, somebody from Portishead. So I feel like this is just a small band that kind of brought in like a yeah, bunch of guests. For sure. Um, but I would agree. I think my favorite tracks were, were female vocals. Mm-hmm. 100%. Uh, um, I see. felt a little gorillas in here somewhere yeah. in some places. Now that you've mentioned yeah. it, I, 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 I can hear it. Yeah. That's a band I'd like to... Kind of, I, n I never listened to a full like Gorillaz album. Mm -hmm. I think I feel like there's a lot list. more to them than I remember their album covers right. more than I do their, the, their right. songs. <laughs> yes, yeah. like, I know their image yeah. imagery is solid. Mm -hmm. It was. Yeah, I love Babel. Yeah, that's a great track. I really enjoyed it. Splitting the atom. The singing is what stood out to yep. me the most on this one. In a um, good way or a bad way? I'm not sure. Uh, <laughs> there was a lot of vocal fluctuations. Uh, there was a bit of a nasally quality. Some mm -hmm. of them, um, mm. a lot more of a, a lot, a lot more like deeper throat singing on this track. Which, mm -hmm. coming off of Babel, really, it, it, I, I don't want to say it was. It, it bothered me, but it right. wasn't. Uh, it wasn't what I was hoping for. Right. 
I love Martina Bird's voice, if I wasn't clear on that. I, I, kept, <laughs> I kept waiting for her to it, sing more. I felt a lot of like hot, cold, hot, cold but from song to song in this. Yes. Like it was up, down, up, down. I wasn't a huge fan of splitting the atom. I, wasn't yeah. I wrote boring. Yeah. yeah. I put didn't do much for me. That's, that's the good. intro kind of reminded me of like Ratatat, if you've listened to them at all. I haven't. Do describe, please. Just that kind of electronic, like... I, I'm not gonna hum it out, but okay. Okay. <laughs> hum it, it out, bro. Yeah, hum it man. out, bro. <laughs> um, yeah, it. Yeah, I feel like I might have reached even some of my notes on track three. Should we move yeah, on? Yeah, I, 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 I really you. didn't have much to say. Yeah, I really loved. Uh, girl, I love you. Love that fuzzy bass. Like that. Sounds oh, yeah. so I cool. Love, I love the bass line. <laughs> yeah. Really enjoy the weirdness. <laughs> yeah. And the inclusion of horns. Oh, yeah. That was cool. Yeah, was that, that was, brass was yeah. so cool. Was. Was that, I was wondering, was that, a, was that a synth or was that an actual? I'm like, pretty sure that's thing? real brass. Yes. Okay, cool. Okay. So, um, I, I wanted to think that was the case. Yeah, just yeah. Making sure. And that's the other reason I thought of a Radiohead comparison is because they use a yep. lot of brass yeah yep. and in kind of odd ways yes. like it's it's not like like uh I don't know a lot of like rock music kind of uses brass in kind of a cheesy way in my opinion <laughs> <laughs> ska. yeah huh? I said ska. ska ska well that's a whole nother thing but yeah <laughs> yeah but yeah the brass was real uh I don't know it kind of sounded like like something dying or something it was yeah. like just real like the Steam mm -hmm. was like coming out. I don't yeah, know. No, I agree. And that, Jazzed like, up that ending for sure. Yeah, and, like slight Eastern vibe yes. to yeah. that song. I really like that for yeah. sure. The rolling bass of that reminded me of a few things. It mm -hmm. reminded me of Respectable, or no, 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 uh, Fascination Street by mm -hmm. Cure. Yeah. Yep. And it reminded me of uh, One of These Days by Pink Floyd. Mm -hmm. That kind of just rolling bass. It's just like yep. Um, Agreed. But yeah, that bass line is so cool. I like that song a lot. Same. And this is one lot. of the songs where there's two versions of it on the album. Yeah, yeah. I much prefer the first version. I did too. Yeah, the second one, I mean, if y'all want to cover it now, because I really didn't have many notes on sure. the other versions of songs. Yeah. No, I didn't Just either. Just super strong 90s club. Yeah, <laughs> they're too clubby for me. Like, yeah, I was going to say, I figured you were going to hate it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, like, yeah, just... I don't know. Yeah, it was kind of like they would give you the version that had like, you know, real instruments in it. Right. Um, I just find that way more interesting. Yeah. Um, the club thing just kind of gets repetitive mm -hmm. and kind of harsh sounding like on the ears. I don't know. Yeah. Didn't, didn't do much for me. Yeah, like Girl, I Love You. Yeah. How would y'all describe, was it Psyche? Yeah. Yeah. I just put very hard to describe. It was fast. It was yeah. quick. Interesting song. Yeah. Like her voice. It's yeah. Interesting. That acoustic riff that has just, it's kind of repetitive, mm -hmm. odd time. Like, it just builds a lot of tension. Right. And they do that in a lot of these songs where there's not a lot of resolution yeah. or it doesn't come for a really long time. Right. Like, not a lot of like choruses mm -hmm. or, mm -mm. um, yeah. I, I mean, I enjoyed this one. Um, it was was kind of odd and just yeah. Uh, yeah. that that acoustic riff was kind of cool. Yeah. yeah, agreed. That's about all I had. Yeah, yeah, same. And not not in a bad way. I mean, I, I enjoyed listening to it. I just I don't think it left as much of an impression on me. Some yeah, yeah. Songs I, I didn't have many notes on it. Mm -hmm. Stefan. I know you like spacey sounds. Flat of the blade. Flat of the blade. <laughs> Loving that. Uh, that sounds like a, like a phone trying to connect at the start. Right. That had me jump from with the start. Spacey I, synth over the humming. Even with like, I, I'm not a big fan of like those the, these subdued monotone vocals that we got on this sure. song. But mm -hmm. for for the for, for the tone for, yeah. for what the instruments are providing. I, it works. Right. It works. Can't can't deny it. Um, there are a lot of layers to this song. Yes. Yes. You like that tempo change yeah. about halfway through? I didn't love it, but it's... yeah, a lot of electronic. Um, I don't know what you call that. Just really fast electronic beats. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like industrial. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, I guess so. Um, but yeah, I thought this one was a little boring and long-winded. Yeah. I mean, all, all the <laughs> songs... It was weird, for sure. Yeah, but I will say that, like, all the songs, they've got something, like, 
especially if you're just you know really focusing in on the sound of it mm -hmm. like they're always doing some interesting stuff with sound and layering yeah. Um, I would say that the songs themselves don't always stand out to me. Yeah. yeah. Like, that would be my knock on this. Yeah. That's fair. Um, what y'all think of Paradise Circus? Mm. The one that got three different tracks on the song. It did. Yeah. It did. <laughs> the, the first of which was the best. Yeah, in my agreed. Opinion. Yeah. In the order of one, two, three for me. <clears throat> yeah. 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 It just, they did start the that was added, and the, just, yeah. it just steers right, right down. Yeah, that's an interesting uh, choice. I don't, I don't know if that I've seen an album that does like multiple versions of the same song. Mm. Yeah, there might be one like Wilco album. Actually, speaking of uh, Nine Inch Nails, does a lot of like, I guess, short releases of mm. one song with like eight remixes of the one song. Oh yeah, <laughs> and yeah. They're all different songs, but it's the same song. I guess. Artists that use a lot of like electronics right. can do yeah. that. Yep. Um, I I like this song. Was that uh, a string section at the end of the song, or is that synth? Um, that's a good question. I I can't really I can't really bring that to mind right now. But I could see it being either. Okay. Mm -hmm. I would guess string. I would too. Like it sounded like a pretty big budget album. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um. But yeah, there's kind of a, a classical vibe to this one. Like Seriously. the piano, it's really like kind of sparse and minimalist. But I just love that riff. It's just so mm -hmm. like, uh, I mean, like a lot of other stuff, just builds tension and mm -hmm. so much like mood. Definitely. But um, yeah, th this was one of the stronger tracks yeah. on the uh, album. I like for me. this one. Good yeah. bass line too. Yes. Yeah. Really yes. good bass line. Again. Female fronted song. Yep. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think this is the one sung by the uh, singer from Mazzy Star. Okay. Yeah. I could see that. I think. I, I don't want to be wrong because yeah, there are that, a that ton of uh, ton of people on this album. Um. Yeah, I don't know. They they don't have it really written out in a yeah. It's not great credited. Way. Mm. Right no. Clearly. Solid song, yeah. regardless. Uh, yeah. I, it's probably my third favorite on the album. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Behind Battle and Girl, I Love You. Mm -hmm. What did you think of Rush Minute? Didn't like the vocals. That The flatness really bothered me yeah. on this I like, one. <laughs> I like the intro sound. I kind of picked up at the halfway point. Enjoyed it a little more towards the end, but... Yeah. Yeah, yeah this one didn't really yeah. do much for me. Same. In fact, I, I can't really bring anything about it to mind. Yeah, that's all I've got on it. The singing was what stood out to me the most, for sure. And yeah. The, there's a, sort of an intricate sequence near the end, but yeah. it, it, I don't know. <laughs> I, I liked Saturday Come Slow a lot more. Yeah. I, I liked the progression a lot on that one. Yeah, yeah this, was, this was a good song, I thought. Mm -hmm. um, it was sung by a guy. Mm-hmm. Um, Not always a bad thing. I was going to say, it might yeah. be the only track that I liked that was male. Yeah. Haunted. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Cool. Uh, I think there's some acoustic guitar in this one. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think you're right there. Yeah. That uh, this weird noise effect near the end where it sounds like they've got like a room full of people chanting. Mm -hmm. You know, kind of like a ghostly quality. Yeah. That's, I, I, I did like that effect. Uh, I, I thought the song was okay. Yeah. yeah. I'd agree. Atlas Air. Uh, mm. You know, I, I actually do think this is a solid finish to the album. I just don't think it needed to be eight minutes long. Yeah. That was probably, that was honestly probably my uh, biggest knock on it. That I, I was like, like the, this... the dark feel to it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A lot of weird sounds on <clears throat> yeah. this one, too. I was actually going to play this for myself real quick. Oh, Atlas Air? Yeah, it's just, I can't. Yeah, okay. a little dark. Ends on some pretty uh, interesting, like, synthy yep. sounds. Yep. A lot of weird sounds. Some ringing yeah. coming in. Yeah, I think my, what I'll say about this album is, like, I would need to listen to it a few more times. Um... I, I enjoyed the listen overall, but it's just right. like hard to say like, oh, this track stood out to me because of this. Like it's sure. just kind of something to listen to in its entirety. There's a lot. Yeah. 
I feel like that's how a lot of stuff that we've covered is though. Like there's so much to it, you know, just giving it one listen, it's like, it's kind of hard to really mm -hmm. say one way or another. Yeah. Because it, it's so easy to miss stuff and yeah, anything that's dense like this to recall just with one listen. Yeah. Like, oh yeah, I remember that part of this, you know. Right. Like, no way. Right. But I, I would, I would listen to some of this stuff again for sure. Absolutely. Which I'll think of fatalism. Crazy. Just That's the one. No. Yeah. <laughs> Period. It's the one that had a lot of <laughs> weird uh, electronic stuff going yeah. on, right? Yeah. Just probably the most experimental of the tracks. Yeah. I mean, I, I kind of enjoy some weirdness. Yeah. But um, I was checked out at that yeah. point because it was like, okay, here's Paradise Circus again. Yeah. yeah. Then Fatalism. Oh, yeah. Then yeah. got to re-listen to two more songs I've already heard. No, mentally I was like, no, Atlas Air is the last song yeah. on this album. <clears throat> right. That's, that's kind of how I... Yeah, how apparently I Fatalism was like a bonus track on the Japanese version of this album. Oh. Seriously. Why do the Japanese always get the bonus track? Right. Hey, man, I, I, that's they a very good question, but it seems to be true in a lot of cases. Yeah. Jesus, they... The Beck album. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Sea Change. Uh, yeah, you know that one. the song was... Uh, Remember the song name? Mm -hmm. I don't even. I, I remember liking it though. Yeah, I remember yeah. Thinking it was okay. Yes, there's something boat. Or oh ship. yeah. Motorboat. No. <laughs> um, I don't know. There, it was a nautical term. You're yeah. Right, mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, we uh, y'all know a lot of people that are into. Electronic, or I guess however you describe. I know kind of trip hop. Yeah, I know a few people, and I feel like it's just a really wide um, category. It's like electronic. Yeah. yeah. There's so many subgenres. It is like metal, because like I feel like I can hear electronic that I'm like, okay, that's pretty cool, and then I can hear some that's just like that is the worst thing yeah. I've ever heard in right. my life. But it's like it's the same genre technically. Yeah. Yeah, which is, is so broad. Yeah, it's just not not helpful to say yeah. like you know, electron. Like, oh, yeah. I feel like that's yeah. that is when like some like it's, yeah labels come in handy. Sure. Yes. Hundred percent. Like IDM versus EDM. Mm -hmm. There's intelligent dance music. Is IDM a subgenre of EDM though? Uh, I don't know. Wouldn't it technically be electronic too? That's a good point. And it's electronic dance music. Right, right. I, I feel like the way it's used, it's a separate thing. Just like, usually what I hear that's IDM is like way more intricate, intricate yeah. way more serious. It's not clubby. Yeah. Um, Proggy. Proggy electronic. Yeah, yeah, honestly. Like guys that have some real like, you know, musical mm -hmm. ability and like compositional skills. Yeah. Um, Do y'all feel good at recommending? album to people yeah i would <laughs> say for a particular listener like if you're a patient listener that likes experimental um you know if you enjoy like radiohead's electronic experiments you might like this okay um okay I don't know. What, what would what would you say? I don't know who I'd recommend it to. Because yeah. I, I feel like if I was going to recommend somebody check out Massive Attack, it would be Mezzanine. Mm. Yeah. Just because, I mean, that's their most noteworthy mm -hmm. stuff. You know what I mean? So yeah. I, yeah. I don't know. But it, it it's hard to say. To the casual fan? No. no I don't not think at all. I'd, I'd put them on to Massive not Attack. I would, I would, it would it's need an acquired to be some, taste. Yes, it would need to be some. It's not like abrasive, though. You no, know what I mean? It's not no. off putting. It's just. It's is, weird. It gonna, is it going to grab somebody? Yeah. Would be more yeah. my thing. A lot of people are put off by music that's kind of strange. Right. And this definitely is. Right. Yeah. Listen for, for to, better and worse. Listen to Paradise Circus, maybe. And if you're into that, go for I'd it. I'd say Babel. I would have said Babel. Okay. Babel. I, I feel like that was a pretty unanimous. Yeah. That could give you kind of both both sides of a uh, massive attack. Yeah. Kind yeah. Of the, the, yeah. Yeah. I I really liked Flat of the Blade. I would not recommend that song to yeah. anybody. Yeah. <laughs> Even if I thought they might like right. Massive Attack, like that. Yeah. It's 
it's at least worth checking out. It, yeah. I'd say there are very few albums that are like, do not check this out. <laughs> yeah. Even I, if it's I, so terrible, I would still say check something out. <laughs> Even just to say that you have. You know I, what I mean? Yeah, I um, yeah, we we we've covered albums that I I don't ever want to listen to again, but I yeah. I'd still I'd still recommend a few of them. Right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's it's that's... like a it's like watching a movie. It's like you got to see it at least once. For sure. For sure. Know what I mean, regardless of how terrible it is. Or Absolutely. Sometimes because of how terrible yes. it is, it kind of makes exactly. it endearing in a weird way. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Hundred percent. How would you rate it? Oh God! It's uh, an album. It's this one's tough for me because I, I I am a fan of this genre. Mm -hmm. Um, for the for the album as a whole, I'm gonna I'm gonna I think I'm gonna give it like a seven. That's what I was thinking. Yep. It's because because even yep. the stuff that we, we we talked about how it was a little uh, up and down in yep. terms of like enjoyment, but even the stuff that I didn't particularly like, I was thinking about it. Like yep. this album kind of stayed with me, so yeah. I, I feel like I got it. Was very different. I got to give it points very, for that. Very, very different. Yeah, I I was thinking seven but too. Cohesive yeah. and being different. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, like I'll give a seven to anything <coughs> that was like that was time well spent. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm not mad about yeah. listening to it. Yeah, and it was like there were several tracks that I was like I like this. Or Same parts of songs. Agreed. But it's definitely one that. I need to listen to several times to really get my head around. Yeah, I'm listening to it again. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah, agreed. And I like that kind of stuff where it's just like there's layers. It it made me really want to dig into Massive Attack more. Yeah, maybe Same. not necessarily like continually revisit this album, but check everything out first and then maybe revisit it. Yeah, yeah. I feel like they're they're definitely not a household name. Like, no. that's a, I never heard of them. Yeah, but I, they have a very like devout fan base. Yes, is what it seems sounds like, like to me. They were like influential to a lot of people. Yeah. Groundbreaking, right? But yeah, the name Massive Attack. Like yeah. I, I always kind of, I guess when I heard that, I would think of those kind of like metalcore bands, like <laughs> yeah. from when we were in high school. Yeah. Yes. Like wasn't there one called Attack Attack? Yes. And it's like, yeah. I don't even know how to describe that stuff. But <laughs> I, I think crab core. That's the genre. Okay, crab core. Yes. Uh, oh, crab core. Crab core. Yeah. Crab. I, I would say the sound is uh, massive to yeah. an extent. That's you know, great. like I, there were some songs thinking to myself, I'm like, okay, yeah, this does have like a huge sound. Yeah. Like it, it is a massive sound. Yeah, it's just a massive... Not to be punny, but it's... <laughs> yeah. Maybe that that's it. I don't know. Sure. <laughs> um, and again, I, I anytime, like, thinking about a band name, I always like to reference the first album. Because it's like, that's where the name initially was. That mm -hmm. was the target sound out of the gate. Like, that's probably the strongest tie-in to the name of the band. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? Yeah. So... I'd be curious to listen to whatever their first album is to see what that name was founded on. Yeah. Sounds like these guys are like rappers and DJs, like the guys that form Massive Attack. Hmm. Like I'm kind of, they have a really confusing Wikipedia page. Yeah. <laughs> this is like English electronic band formed in Bristol by Robert 3D Del Naha. <laughs> Ad Adrian Tri Del Naha? Yeah. Adrian Tricky Thaws, Andrew Mushroom Vallis, and Grant Daddy G Marshall. I'm, I'm so Dude, confused. that's amazing. Yeah. Wow. That is awesome. Daddy G. Um, wow. Solid stage names. Yeah, man. Interesting that this album has a 98% like on Google reviews. Yeah. Yeah. I could see internet people Whoa. being into this. I oh, yeah. I didn't know, too. It says recorded 05 through 09. Wow. A long damn production period. How? Wow. That's That's got to be tough. Because, I mean, think about how ideas change in yes. such a short span of time. Like, to make something that sounds cohesive over a four-year span of time. Yeah. There's got to be a backstory on that. I know. Like, like that, that doesn't sound right. To ask Danny the dog. <laughs> Daddy G. Daddy G. Uh, I, I would definitely tune in for a like VH1 behind the music yes. on Massive Attack. Sure. I would too. 
now knowing their names, I, I would I'd love to know more. Yeah. Yep. Any other thoughts on the album? Um, the band? Not for me. No. Um, you know. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you <laughs> to yeah, our you requester know, yeah. for uh, recommending we do this album. Thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed. Uh, if you'd like to hear us uh, cover your album, uh, just drop us a comment in uh, on, on this video. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it around. And just tell people about us. We're three different ones. And we'll see you later.